Okay, welcome back to Super Sentai Review, episode 376. Don't worry, there's one more after this one, and then this series is taking a little break uh, to work on two other series, and then back to for one more series, for another series this one. But it's not a series this time, it's a movie! A movie that I had to wait until after we went through the Gokaiger stuff, and the appearances over in Bokenger... I, the team up with Ab Ranger and the Bokenger were Super Sentai movie. And the main reason why is because of Hurricane Blue. That was mainly the reason for it. So, in this movie, taking place 10 years after the events of Hurricane and apparently ignoring all the appearances they made after the series wrapped up, ignoring Hurricane versus Ab Ranger. Their parent, like Hurricane Blue's parents in Bokenger vs. Super Sentai, and apparently their parents in Gokaiger. Like, I get ignoring uh, some of the stuff for Her- for Hobber Ranger vs. Hurricane. I had some issues with that movie. Uh, the Bokenger one, I thought that was interesting to ignore that one. And I think the one they should not have ignored is their parents in Gokaiger. That was an excellent uh, two parter. I thought it was really good. Uh, it got everything right about the characters. Like, what the occupations were, kind of. Except in this movie, basically, uh, there's no mention of Hurricane Yellowstone being a physical therapist. Except, by this point, he is a father of two kids. He's also married to some unknown woman. We don't know who this woman is. Uh, Nanami has left being idol. She's now an actress. Though, even after ten years, she's basically still gorgeous as ever. Yes, I think the character is 28 years old. Like, you see in this movie, like... Because here's kind of the weird thing related to her character... In when she appeared in Gokaiger. She had long hair in that one. Here, she cut her hair off... Because she's doing Hurricaneger. Yeah, as for why she cut her hair out... That, that was never really explained. Also, Yosuke... He's got curly hair now. Yeah, it's no longer... Like... Every's hair is, like, so drastically different in this one. Like, like Nanami went back to look what she had from Hurricane Fine. Uh, Yellow, uh, he cut his hair. His hair is really short now. Um, Issue, the owner of the two brothers, or the Gal Rangers, uh, he has his hair slicked back with gel, and the other one got a haircut. But the most drastic change... Like, and of course, Yosuke, basically, his, his hair was, like, long, like a mullet. But now it's basically, like, well, <clears throat> now it's basically just curly. You look at him like, damn, man, you need a haircut. Kind of, yes. Yeah, this was also the first movie they, they featured him since, uh, since the team with Abba Ranger. But in the case of production when it comes to them, uh, last Napier part of this one was actually an episode of Gokaiger. Yep, that was the previous production appearance. Now, that's the main reason why I say this until after Gokaiger was because of that particular reason, because that was the previous production appearance when it comes to them. Yes, so... Like, the movie begins, like, oh, there's these mysterious bombings over the planet in various cities... Like, various branches of the Unified, uh, Universal, uh, Ninja, nin, the Ninja Corps. Now, as for why they have branches over the world, that's completely baffling to me. Like, oh, one thing I forgot to mention for my Gokaiji review, um, like, there are certain organizations that existed previously the series, they're still around, despite the fact that bad guys, the reason they're formed, are gone. So, who's financing the Earth Defense Force, uh, the organization that, that basically forms an O-Ranger, who is funding these organizations because the reason why they exist is gone. Like, the aliens, the reason why they came together was, was all gone. Maybe because Japanese military likes basically put stuff in certain branches of the military if they wanted to. And... I'm surprised they're not all part of it. Like, there's no eagle in that one, surprisingly. Like, also, there's something interesting, though. 
Like, we, we, we get this Hurricane Trevini movie. We have one for Decorane. Decorane's got two of them. Uh, oh, by the way, Aberdeen, uh, Hurricane's got one more. Aberdeen just got a reunion. Go on, has got one. But you know who doesn't? This might surprise you. Go Ranger, with the exception of the brief appearance they had in the Go Ranger vs. Jack movie, and of course the Red Ranger appearing in Hurt and uh, um, Go Kyger. Like, we never had an official reunion of the Go Rangers. It's kind of the same thing with the Jack Rangers. I mean, have they all retired? I mean, all I know is since passed away is uh, of the Go Rangers is uh, the Yellow. I mean, Red and Blue is still very much alive. And you probably think, okay, so... You also know Blue is still alive because basically he's so active in, in acting. Yeah, he's still very much basically active. Yes. I know we'll talk more about the movie in a minute, but I have to basically discuss the whole thing with Go Ranger. Like... But what Mole Ranger? Peggy, is the actor still alive? Did she pass away? Uh, no. She's still alive, but she is retired. Um, I wouldn't mind if they did a reunion of Go Ranger. It'd be kind of weird without the yellow one show up there. And, well, in the case of the actor who played Metal Ranger, the green one, yeah, he retired. So, only one has passed away. I mean, you can easily write it in that maybe that Cure Ranger got replaced again in the reunion movie. It's possible they could do that. Yes, that's the only thing I can think of anyways. He could bring back the actors of retirement as one movie. Uh, what about the actors from Jack? Well, Spader Ace is still very much alive, and he's so active in acting. Um, the one who played Die Jack, he's still very much alive, except he's retired. Uh, Heart Queen still alive uh but retired clover king he is retired and of course big one i know he's still active so yeah jack is still pretty much all their actors still left alive um what about their mentor yes what about the really cool mentor they had joker like is he still alive is the i highly doubt it Given his age, you look in the series. I highly doubt he's alive. Yeah, he's no longer alive. I mean, you could have it where the Black Crest could come back for that one, but in the case of this one, um, well, they couldn't in a way have the thing come back. What about Buffy or Jay? I know Ken Joe was still around. I know that for sure. So he's basically no, he's still very much active. Uh, but what about the actor who played Battle of Japan? Retired. Yeah, a lot of these actors are just retired. Um, the one who plays the original Kosek, he is... Uh, he's still he, he's still very much active. Uh, the one who plays Miss America, she is retired. Yeah, a lot of these actors are just retired. I can see these actors come back to the movies. There's nothing since they can't do it. Like... I'm sure their mentors may not be alive, the actors have played them. But the actors clearly what about Denzi Red? Retired. Denzi Yellow. Uh retired. Yeah, a lot of these actors are retired, but none of them are dead. Like, if you think about like I'm looking at basically right now, like, are any of these actors dead aside from Cure Ranger? Is he like the only one who passed away? Uh, the one played Vol Eagle, he is still very much alive. Uh, in the case of some Vulcan, it'd be kind of difficult due to the fact that, well, the fact that Vol Panther, the actor, plays him, is in jail. So, it, the, like in the case of Go Ranger for that one. They would have to find a way to find a way to write him out and do like a replacement or have him where you just put his suit the whole time. Yeah. Uh Gogo V. 
I have so far I haven't come across any uh, actors who have since passed away. Um, well, some you could, uh, but excuse me. But the only one I, I've seen so far since passed away. Oh, I do know that uh, the actress who played Yell Car Ranger she she passed away just recently. Uh, how about the rest of the actors from Google Bla from from Google Five? Uh, the one who played Black, he's still very much alive. And he's active. Gogo Blue. Retired. Gogo Yellow. Retired. Gogo Pink. Retired. Well, I, I don't have time to go through all of them per se, but... A lot of them either active or just retired, but only one, only like two, a few of them since passed away. Not a lot of them per se. I would say, if you think about it, I would say for the '80s mentors, I would say not a lot of them. The actors still much. I know the one from Sun Folk is no longer alive because he passed away after the production was completed. I think it was due to cancer. I heard. Yes, but back to this movie. So then, the, then they have Hurricane Blue, Hurricane Yellow, cornered the person responsible. Looks like it's Hurricane Black. There is a Hurricane Black. It's a real, it's actually Yosuke. Hurricane Red. And then we flash back to kind of how we got here. Where... First we see... Uh, Nanami and Hurricane Yellow. Where they basically go visit uh, Yosuke's place. Where... It's 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 like a Monday apartment. It's like an office slash apartment. It's, it's like a... Con it's like... An office, like apparently y Yosuke sends him as a hurricane. You can probably ignore what happened in in uh, other shows. Apparently, he's been traveling all over the world since the end of Hurricane Jer. Like just talking to people for ten years. I'm like, okay, I get the fact that he's been traveling, but here's the thing: who's been financing his trip around the world for ten years? Good question. Yeah, and then the course where they're in the off. Now, basically, before they got here, like, first, this is quite interesting. This is probably the, this was the scene I briefly saw when I watched this movie originally. I watched this one for, like, a few minutes, and I just stopped uh, because I didn't watch the series. That's why. Uh, it was the scene where Nanami is taking a shower. And we see her sexy legs. And... Some hub of her shoulders. And that was it. And I'm like, you, you look at her here, and compared to how she appears in in Hurricane, she this woman did not age at all. She looked like basically the same. Her actor's name is now Nakasawa. She is currently She just turned forty just this year. So, when she appeared in this movie, like, when it was released, like, I think in the show, she was probably still a teenager. Yes. Yes, I'm trying to think. Me. Like, let's see. The thing was released in 2002. If I'm correct, yes, 2002. So she must have been, she was 18, just, just, just like her character. So when it was released in 2013, she must have been like, I would say 29. I'd say, yeah, I'd say 29 when when this when this movie was released. Yes, and recently she's currently the age of uh, 40, but she looks fantastic for her age. We do see two other returns here. We'll get to those. And we see that someone trying to steal her morpher. And we meet the main villain of the movie. They're like, what? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, the main villain of this movie. Excuse me. His name is Zero Spear Bat 
Zaramba. Which, of course, has revealed this guy... Excuse me. Yeah, so when he shows up later in the movie, it's who this guy was a former student who joined the Jaka. I'm like, what? A former student left them to join this organization. I'm like, that sounds very familiar. That sounds a lot like Sure Kenger. Yes. So they kind of gave him the same exact backstory, except he turned to evil organizations and working for this immortal woman. So. And then we see the Hurricane Black Yosuke attack the Gal Rangers, where apparently Issue. Let's see if I get the name right here. And this is really weird. Ikaku is this dancer singer, and Ishu is a gangster. Based on what he's dressed. And. Oh, and here's the thing. The whole thing of him and Nanami, where they were a couple, that was kind of briefly shown in the Hurricane vs. Zabarines movie. Yeah, that's not mentioned here at all. It's like. Did the writer of this movie forget the fact these two were attracted to each other in the series and it was a relationship that clearly went nowhere because when she later got married, it wasn't to him, but some, some no-name guy and she had a kid with this, with this guy. Yes, for some reason they decided to do this. I don't know why. It is bizarre to say the least. So... By the way, we can briefly see Nanami fight the fight the Zero Spear with a freaking towel. I'm quite surprised he, he that this guy didn't decide to take. And of course, I appreciate the Koto. He's near, he's in Hurricane Yellow. I appreciate the fact he was basically trying to not see Nanami butt naked. Uh, for one thing, because basically it's his friend, and two, he's a happily married man. Because we first see in the movie, like in this flashback, he's wearing a suit and glasses. I'm like, when they wear glasses, it makes no sense. Like, he, he's one had dress to change his hair because he had, like, a mullet in Hurricane Dr- Here he's got, like, short hair. And then they fight him, and then he leaves. And then, after the Yosuke thing, when they meet this kid, uh, who was his name, uh, is Tenka. Why he's called Tenka is never really explained. Maybe it's really referenced ten years later. So, then, of course, basically, um, then... Blue and Yellow briefly fight Hurricane Red briefly, and then they just take him to Inquiry. Led by Lady Gorzin. When you see her face, like, Lady Gorzin. Oh, that's not Lady Gorzin. That's a relative of hers who just took, a, took her name. I'm like, okay. Yeah, and then, of course, uh, Bat shows up here. And this is what they revealed the whole is his, his brief backstory. He's a traitor who do, he joined them for some reason. As for why the heck he did this, like the case of Shurikenger, like, there's no real reason why he did this. It just, he just did. And he's like, not one of the seven spears, but they revealed this a little bit more in our movie, so. Then, then of course, they, they, they took the Guy Ranger uh, sh- uh, showing medals, and then he took the, the, the regular Hurricane medals, and then, uh, Yosuke took up the, the, the veil thing. Let's take sure Kendra's medal. And he's like, I gave it, and the release is like, nah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, then it basically reveals what the heck is going on here. So, it turns out that, that Yosuke found this kid about six months prior to Vince's movie, just wash up on the shore someplace. We don't know where. It just on shore. And Yosuke finds him. Just takes care of him for a bit. And then he's killed by, by the back guy. And it's revealed that he's actually a, a child of the evil will. As in... The thing that the Jakaza was basically looking for. The entire freaking series. He's created from this thing. And they want to summon the greater will. Apparently it's like more powerful than the evil will. It's like, it's never shown. It's like they're trying to get to it. But 
it's like quickly like abandoned. I'm like, what the heck is up with the greater will thing? Because the whole thing with the will, it's like this essence. That's basically what the heck the villains of both the Hurricane Angel series and this movie's after. They're at this essence become powerful for reasons. I don't know why. Uh, then, of course, basically, they free the, they, they find the kid. Okay, they're going to be evil, so, like, then eventually he... And then there's some point where they break out of the dimension they were in. Oh, by the way, Wendy Roo is here, and she's aged a little bit. She looks really good. Um, yeah, Faber is here, too. Wendy Roo, uh... Like, when, when she started in Hurricane Jr., she was... Uh, 23, when the show started. Now she's 33. Who, uh, came back for this movie. Yeah, she came back to this movie after she was retired. Yep. She, she was retired because she got married. She came back to this one movie... And that's last. And this movie's. Oh, well, I'll get to more of that. So, and the shock is here. And then the kid who freed himself from his own restraint, which he's chained to a cross because Japanese love depicting this. And then he's like, he fights the the mecha, but First time seeing them since the movie from Go Kaiger, where he fights. He this kid fights the the Mekapa, and then he becomes new Shurikenger. They're like, what? Yeah, he becomes a Shurikenger. Via kind of the same way that Kiba Ranger became the Endai Ranger. Yes, a kid becomes a, ra a Ranger. And apparently he knows all the moves. I'm like, since when? Like, did the, the this, this the memories of the original Shurikenger, did he, did he get passed down to this thing? I have no freaking idea. Because now he knows the morphing call. Like, he knows how to morph. He knows all of his moves. It just never explained here. He just randomly knows martial arts. Yeah, and then, of course, they, they do the little morph. And then they do the thing without their helmets, surprisingly. Which I found that be interesting. And then we had the, the fight at the carpet for a while. And then, of course, you have Nanami finding Fabaju. Which, of course, she proceeds to beat her up because, like... Cut to Wendy, and then of course you have, well, you have her, and this is so funny. So you have the th you have the three Hurricanes doing a little disguise thing that they did from the series, where Nanami is basically disguised as a uh, play of this instrument, and then she just hits uh, Faberju, and then we have get this, we have Kota being a samurai who carries a flintlock pistol. And then he proceeds to shoot Winter in the face, which she would survive that. And then we have where, well, Yosuke is a little disguise thing, and <laughs> I thought this was funny. And then we have the two brothers do the dance routine to get the movie to fight. And by the way, how they get to this point is interesting. So, basically, go on the Shelby Valley, that's where it get, kind of where it is. And how the brothers found out where this is, is they put a transmitter on their snowy metals. I'm like, that's interesting, but you do know Okada can basically make those medals for you, but nope, they better not do that. So, by the way, the mentor is back in the movie, and he does some stuff here. Him and his daughter are back here, which he he looked like he didn't age at all in 10 years. I'm like, I was shocked the fact to see him here. Like, him and Okada, like, these two did not age at all. Like, these two look virtually the same. This matter of fact, she's in her 40s. And he's probably, like, in his 60s. But he looks exactly the same. I'm, I'm surprised about that. So. And here's something interesting, though. About this movie. You might find it interesting. There is no Megazord fight. You're like, really? Yeah. There is no Megazord fight in this movie. I found that to be interesting. So. Then the course of defeat him with a 10 years later gadget. With apparently more art weapons. Including Shurikenja weapon. 
which is something he never actually did in the series. And then they beat the monster. And then Koda is like, yeah, I'm going to tell my kids basically I'm Hurricane Yellow. And now I'm just going to become an actress. The other two sort of thing. With the dancing and Yosuke might do something. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. And also, oh, there's rules for father. Hey, we received the bills for all the destruction of those buildings caused by Yosuke. So our father gets out of it by becoming a hamster. Yep. By doing that again. I mean, yeah, the best way to describe this movie, it's a reunion movie, but it's really good. Yep. I might say that for later because it's going to have a lot of time here. Okay, so, yeah, good movie. I actually really enjoy this. Like, it's nice to see this movie. And keep this movie only came out three years prior to me starting watching Super Sentai. Yes, believe it or not. I started watching Super Sentai in 2016. Yes, I watched Power Rangers since I was a kid. But Super Sentai, I started watching that in 2016. And this movie came out three years prior to that. Yes. But next time I discuss these movies will be... Deca, Deca, Deca Ranger. The 10th anniversary for that one. But before that, I got two anime to go through. So, I'm going to go out for a bit. And when I get back, I'll first work on our last three Rise of the World, which we're not making announce that one. And then I'll work on Fatal Frame. Okay. But to you in the next video. Bye.